Oh, what is this? Huh? It's an egg. There we go. We got an egg. And what's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. And I'm Kyle. And on today's episode, we're going to be showing you the Ikari enclosure. And not only that, there's a nest of eggs that could be fertile. We're going to check them out. Let's see what happens. So this enclosure houses three Yukari caiman, which is a 1.2 trio. So that means there's one male and two females. And they're doing absolutely amazing in here with the foliage. I mean, the foliage has absolutely exploded with the greenhouse effect in here. But I wanted to have a natural pond for them, but also be able to keep it warmer in the winter for them, as well as uh, keep the rain out so it doesn't flood or whatnot. So this is just more of a test to see again how it works out. All right, guys, so the reason we're going in with the Yukari came in today is we've noticed that she's built a nest in the back right corner. And if she's laid eggs in there because she is guarding, we're going to want to get those eggs out. That way we can incubate them and we have them in a secure environment so they just don't hatch inside the enclosure and you have little caimans floating around everywhere. So let's go take a look and see if there are any eggs in that nest. So you can see guys, the ground tells a lot of the story of what's really going on here. You can see the slide of the, the female Yukari came in coming back and forth as she builds this nest and also guards the nest. So here's the nest here. She, they usually tend to build it right up on the corner. They built it on several locations in several years, but she's, this is her first year on this side. Uh, but they like to push it very far back from the nest. And I think that's due to just to ensure the nest does not flood. All right guys, without further ado, let's get involved and get in there. Now, unfortunately, with South Florida, you deal with a lot of this fire ants in the nest. So, oh, that guy almost got me. So that's that's a part of the fun of collecting eggs is dealing with the fire ants down here. But it's well worth it with these animals. Oh man, look at them all, the fire ants. Hopefully, they didn't get to the eggs. But we'll see. And she really compacted this nest. And that's a funny thing too, is sometimes you'd expect, you'd expect them to be dead center of the nest, but sometimes they're all the way on one side or the other. Man, dear, these fire ants are chewing me up, huh? The gloves help a little bit, but man, I can do only so much against these guys. I'm starting to think this is a fire ant nest instead of a yukari nest. Oh. Now the fact that there's so many fire ants already, is that kind of a, a bad sign for there being life down there? Yeah, usually, um, man dear. Yeah, usually it's not a good sign because obviously fire ants eat just about anything. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh. It's an egg. There we go, we got an egg and it's intact. Man dear. Mm, that one, that one's crushed, but we still got some more down here. What's nice is you can feel the humidity is a lot higher. I was worried about it being in the greenhouse. It's too dry because you can see how dry this is. But when you get further down, you can see how, how dark this is compared to the top layer. So it definitely has a higher humidity down below, which is perfect. Let me get these guys away from the fire. Man, they are terrible. Oh. There's another egg. Yeah, it's another one. Ooh, that one's cracked, let's see. Nothing. So Ooh. clearly that egg was bad. Yeah. Woo! How are you doing? You getting chewed up too? Yeah, I'm getting chewed up over they're here. Working, they're working their way everywhere. Yeah. I mean, look, the ground is just. Oh. All right. Try to pick this up. All right, here's an egg here. Ah. Oh. Crack that one. Look at that. That is definitely a bad egg. Oh, smells terrible. Oh. Too. Oh. <laughs> ah, the, ah. Yeah, these are all bad eggs. Look at that. 
that's the inside of one of the eggs. All right, Woo. so we're gonna go ahead and say this is a bad nest. Yeah, this is definitely a bad nest. And a bad location with all the fire ants. And dear, ah, I'm gonna be covered in it. It's gonna look like I have chicken pox tomorrow, but hey, it was fun, right? <laughs> no, but again, it's something that we have to do because like Ryan said before, if these, if this was fertile and these animals hatch out, we just wanna have as, as secure a facility as possible to ensure these babies don't escape into the wild of South Florida. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed today's videos. Between the fire ants and the uh, bad eggs, I think we're gonna call it an yeah, end right I there. So. so make sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, like and share the video. Also go follow us both on Instagram. Our links will be in the description below. Until next time, we'll see you soon.